I've been looking for interesting sounds and throwing some ideas against the wall. I found some interesting things today. I'm trying to warm up my brain to get some more writing done. And a fun way to do that is to just make sound sandwiches. Take a couple sounds, smash them together, see what happens, repeat. That's the process. So today I wanted to take a high chimey sound, like a ding, and combine it with a low hard thump, like a doom, uh, because I've been listening to this composer Nico Muley a lot, and he has a lot of dumps and tingies, doom, ting, doom, doom, ting, and he combines them, and they're great, rather than just talk about it, let me show you what I mean, so for my high chimey sound, I found this, sounds like um, a cat squirting or something, but it's, uh, what I did was I took this xylophone here, and I took the note G, and I went ding, and then I put a bunch of reverb on it. And it sounds like way too much reverb, and it sounds pretty ugly right now. But um, when you combine it with the low stuff, it's pretty neat. So for my low stuff, the first thing I tried was I took an acoustic guitar uh, choppy sound like this. Good old. Uh, good old sound there, and I combined that with the chime, and I got this. It's already a better sound, and I wanted even more depth and even more punch, so I added a kick drum, and I got this as my final result. So that's a neat, that's a neat little moment. Put that aside for a second. Another thing I wanted to try was a polymeter or polyrhythm, depending on how picky you are about your vocab, between a uh, rhythm in 5 and a rhythm in 12. Um, I saw this musician perform something that I thought was really cool and I asked him what it was and it turned out he had been layering 5s over 12s and creating this swirling texture. So I took this propane tank that I have here. Um, it's got a bunch of notes cut out on it. My friend made this and let me borrow it. It's really cool. It's got a different pitch for each of these little thingies. Can't really hear it here. I'll hit it with the pencil. Anyway, it's a great little propane tank. It's maybe the best propane tank I have. And what you can do is um, play a rhythm in five on one part of the tank, so for that rhythm in five, I did a one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. It sounded like this. Yeah, let's start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so that was my first rhythm, that was my five, and then I layer, layered it over a 12. Now for the 12, I divided it into 5 plus 7 to get my 12. So it's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 is 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 is 7. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Sounds like this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, cycle of the fives and the sevens looping over each other. I really wanted to try playing these rhythms on the propane tank, so that was really cool to finally get to record that. And um, I, so I took that rhythm there and that made me think, you know, what would go great with this is a little bit of muted guitar. And I've done this in my videos before, but one thing I really love to do with guitar is take a little piece of cardstock like this and weave it between the strings. So you put it above the E, under the A, above the G, D, under the G, above the B, under the E, and you get this cool muted sound that is like a kalimba.
and I use that a lot and I feel like it's something that I need to explore even further because it really is one of my favorite sounds. Um, I thought it would go really well with the propane tank. So I recorded the um, acoustic guitar, or I'm sorry, the uh, muted electric guitar like this, did some melody stuff. some repeating rhythmic stuff. And when I put that with the uh, propane tank rhythms, here's what I got. pretty good combination. They fit together really nicely in this sort of um, kind of rough around the edges but still really controlled rhythmic vibe. So the next thing I added to that was I actually um, took, I took those three sounds plus um, a little bit of ambient saxophone that's kind of hard to hear. You probably can't hear it that well but I'm just going my saxophone but I took those three sounds and I recorded I like bounced them down into a recording here so then and then I took that bounce of those three sounds and I lowered it down an octave so I got this as my result <laughs> which I thought was neat. And so then I took that octave down uh, print of the propane tanks and the uh, muted guitar, and I offset it a little bit so that when you play the, l the octave down version of all this stuff with the original version, they're not together, and they create a cool um, rhythmic counterpoint. So you'll hear it here. So to me that sounds like like music right there. I'm really happy with that. It's very that was an exciting kind of process that led to that sound. And so then you're probably wondering, well where'd that big boom and chime thing go? Well, I'll show you. So I used it as a I used the boom chime thing from the beginning as a transition into a heavier section. So we've got this stuff. chime and its drama and surprisingness, that boom chime thing, uh, as a transition from the first section to a more busy version of the first section. Uh, I, I like that a lot. And then at the end, I felt like I could recapitulate the little melody from the muted guitar again, but this time have it come from slide guitar paired with saxophone. So I've been interested in Slide, gu slide guitar paired with sustaining instruments. So check it out. It sounds All right, so here's the whole thing. And for visual entertainment, I'm going to dance.
until I can hire an animation department or something like that, I'm going to have to dance. So I think that is interesting for me. I hope it was for you too. Bye-bye.